This is the film cutter that cuts 120 film and rolls it onto 127 film. I will show you how it works. It is made of various components. The concept is very simple. The film will go through the cutter. There is a blade in this in this yellow piece and will be rolled with this knob on the spools. You will have two spools, one 27 spool and this little spool that will get the remaining part of the film which will be 16 millimeters tall and maybe you can use it in uh, one, 110 cameras. You just have to connect the two spools like this. Okay. When the two spools are connected, you just put them inside the, the white cage. So this is where the, where the film will be will be rolled. Before we do this process, we need to prepare the film tail with this shape to go inside the two slots that you have here. To prevent the film from unwinding from, from the spool, you just lock it with this clip. and use this plastic shape as a guide to prepare the film. Okay, now the film is ready. You just put two tails into the cutter and begin cutting two parts okay you will notice that there are two arrows here that must be in line just to make sure that you, you don't put the cage like that okay so um, it's quite easy to understand how to put the film in there and start rolling like this Now this thing is ready to go inside the box. Put the components inside, remove the clip and you're ready to roll. Okay. You close the box and start winding. So um, when you feel that the um, rolling rolling becomes easy, and when you shake, you feel there is a little rumbling inside. It means that the cutting is finished, and you can remove the film from from the box and take out the two spools. Okay, to to remove the, the two spools from uh, this part you just have to pop it on this side what you have in the end is one little spool which is which is uh, 16 millimeters you can load it on 
110 cartridges and the other is your fantastic 127 film. There is one thing that we have to do in order to load it on uh, 127 camera. Prepare the, um, the backing paper to go on, uh, on the camera. But also one important thing to do is, is stick the film on the backing paper just to prevent that the film jams the camera when you are loading. Now the film is ready to go in your camera. So this is a 127 camera, this is one of my favorite cameras and um, there's a film inside that I have just finished shooting. As you can see it is another 120 film that I've cut before. This is the film that I have just taken from the camera and I will develop later and this is the film that we have just cut. To load the film, put it inside the camera like this. When you load the film, you will see this big band which means that the film is about to begin. The film is here. You can also see the tape that we've put before. So the film starts there and uh, it is the end of the strip of film that is on uh, 120 film. So now we close the camera and start widening until we see that the sign on, on the backing paper are visible through the red window. Maybe you can see the number 8, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. You see the number 8 because the film is going backwards, so you just use this red window as a countdown. You will see number 7 and 6 and 5, basically it's a countdown. That sign is um, the same sign that you will see on 6x6 cameras. So the film will be perfectly positioned if you use a camera like this, which is uh, 4x6. That's it. Happy shooting. <laughs>